morning. So glad that you could join us. Now, 1 John 4, 4 reads this. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So if we're born again, God lives in us. And I believe that Jesus is greater than the devil. Now, I know that the word of God says that. So therefore, I must act as if it's true. Then that becomes my reality. So when I worry about paying bills and problems in my family and problems on the job, I'm taking the fight on. When I try to fight, I'm not taking advantage of the power and the goodness of God in all that he's done for me. So today, I'm not going to fight. Today, I'm going to let God fight my battles. I'm going to go into work and do what I do. I'm going to treat my family right. I'm going to breathe easier over my bills. I am not going to engage anyone who brings drama to me. I'm going to stay focused no matter what is going on. There's always trouble. Now, once I worked at a place uh, and with people that when I took that job, I was called crazy. I needed the money, so I took the job. But what I did not know was that God was working things out before I even took the job. I didn't have any trouble. When I arrived, things were great. Then I started to make trouble for myself. I started to listen to what people were saying. And I was watching what people were doing and listening to rumors and threats of my job. So-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. But God had already given me the job and the position. But I came in bringing my own drama, my own storm. And then one day I realized I cannot continue to get wound up about certain things. I mean, I wasn't even going to worry. I didn't care if my boss was full of hell or my coworkers were getting on my nerves and even my employees were not complying. There is something great in me and it's greater than the world. So you have to listen. We've overcome these things. Let God be in the front today. He already is. Hand over the steering wheel and just have a good day. Don't get involved in anything that makes you less than great. Be on time. Do your work, hold your tongue, close your ears. God has this. And so we confess together today. Let's confess together that we refuse to battle. The battle's not ours, but it's God. He is God, and we have to ask him to go to work on our behalf. We know that his word is true, and we have to act like that. Now, if we're born again, we know that God is in us, and we don't have to battle anyone or anything today. So thank you for tuning in this morning. Now, our website is soon to be up at www.faithcityonline.com. For any contact, you can find us on Facebook at Faith City Church, or on YouTube at Faith City Online. You can always email any concerns or prayer requests at faithcity316 at gmail.com. Or you can text your prayer requests or concerns anonymously. Do that. It's anonymous at 833-258. 8697. Again, the number is 833-258-8697. God bless you. Go in peace. Have a great day. Walk up,